What's good, Breakers? Welcome to Breaking Bad Nick. My name is Raz, and welcome to another thrilling video on SpongeBob Simulator. Today's episode, we'll be going out of bounds in jellyfish fields once again to see what we can find and- Yeah, only joking, it's April Fool's, haha, I got it. I didn't- I didn't get you, did I? As per usual, what we're actually doing is heading into Sonic Speed Simulator. The April Fool's Day event is here, or the legit event update, I don't really know what to call this. And with it comes a brand new dimension, the Sanic Dimension, where we'll go back to the past in order to unlock some awesome free rewards. You'll find the portal at the end of Green Hill. The veteran players will recognize this location as where the portal to Lost Valley, or more specifically, the Green Hill Obby used to be located. This was a deliberate choice, as you'll see once we head inside. Before that, however, make sure to grab this cardboard cutout chow outside the portal. There's more of these hidden throughout the game, but I suck at finding these. If you found the rest, let me know in the comments. Heading into the Sanic portal reveals a cool surprise for veteran players. These are the old obbies. A big marathon of the game's original obbies that used to be so integral to the game now await you in a gauntlet format. This was really nostalgic for me, dude. One of the first glitches we ever found here on Breaking Bad Nick involved breaking these very same obbies. The actual gauntlet itself is fairly easy though, even if you're not a veteran player and are experiencing these for the first time, I feel like you wouldn't really have much trouble with it. I mean, these were never really that hard in the first place. By the end of the gauntlet, you'll reach a portal to somewhere else, which will just take you to this place that I'm pretty sure is just the Emerald Hill Obby, but it's been so long that I forgot. Reach all the way to the top and you'll find this event's rewards. Freddy Fazbear, or rather your Roblox avatar that you can equip as a companion. Mine just happened to be Freddy Fazbear. Though, however, it does have a habit of getting stuck. I'm not really sure why, this thing's kind of buggy. Reprising his role from last year's April Fool's Day is Sanic, using his Sonic Forces render of all things. He's just a static PNG with extremely low-end stats, but through trading you can probably fuse him, perhaps. Then ending off, you have the Sanic Trail. My computer is bad, so I can't fully show this off, but little Sanics follow you around if you have this equipped. You're just gonna have to trust me on that. The stats on this thing, though, are actually kind of kooky. Like, this thing is probably really good if you can pull off a fusion on it. Finally, we have that cardboard cutout chow. There's five of these hidden in the game, so it is fusible. However, I can't get a read on if its stats are actually good. It is really funny, though. I'll give them that. And all of the items acquired in the Sonic Dimension come from this new rare rarity. Which was a new rarity added during Extra Foolish, I just didn't bring it up in my review. I'm pretty sure we're only going to be seeing this rarity updated during April Fool's Day events like this, and I certainly wouldn't get your hopes up that a skin is ever going to be a part of this rarity either, but it's cool to see a differentiation in rarities for these items. It makes them feel just that more special. And that about wraps up the April Fool's Day event in Sonic Speed Simulator. What do you think of the Sanic dimension? Let me know in the comments. While you're in the area, make sure to check the description for my Twitter and Instagram, where I draw a lot over there. Like the video and subscribe. I upload videos on Sonic Roblox and Sonic Mobile games several times a week, and sometimes several times a day. My name is Raz, thank you so much for watching. Keep breaking badniks.